Make sure you've watched the addition of positive and negative decimal video before you've watched this one here because this is an extension of that one and you're going to be so lost if you haven't not just watched it but also mastered the technique of adding positive and negative decimals. Let's get started with this one here. This is also a video you may have to watch again um, and practice a lot in order to master. But if you've already mastered addition, this is going to be very, very simple. Same steps, except... Scene one, Apple, take one. Any subtraction equation has to be turned into an addition one. I'm going to show you the right way to do that. You can't just do whatever you want. You have to do it the right way, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. Once you've turned it into an addition equation... So subtraction becomes addition. Then what you do is just basically follow the same steps you did with addition. Scene one, apple, take two. So if the two numbers have the same sign, you add them together. If the two numbers have different signs, you subtract them. Remember the analogy I gave you, same signs. That's kind of like bad guy added to another bad guy. They hang out with each other. They get along like happy cat and happy adding. But if you have a bad guy and a good guy, the signs are different. They're hanging out with each other. Well, they're going to not get along. They're going to be like sad face. <laughs> okay. If you're lost at this point, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You really need to go back and watch the addition of positive, negative decimal values. The last step. <laughs> the answer that you get will be either positive or negative based on the question. You look at the two numbers in the question. The bigger number, once you ignore the, the signs, of course, just look at the numbers. The bigger number sign will move on to the answer. Now let's move on and do some questions. Here's question one. It's subtraction. You must notice the subtraction sign right here. You also have an addition sign right here. Remember the sneaky trick I taught you in the last video? That's how you turn this into an addition question. You see that? Very, very sneaky. Yes, now everything remains the same. We look at the signs, positive, negative, good guy, bad guy. They don't get along. They don't. Ignore the signs now. We put our minus sign. Now ignore the signs. Just look at the numbers. 8.2, 3.3. 8.2 is bigger. It comes first. So we'll write 8.2 subtracted by 3.33. Hey, how did I know to subtract? Because the signs were different, right? I'm just going to subtract like you know what's going on. Now that we have 4.87, look at the numbers again, ignoring the signs. We don't care about the signs anymore. We just look at 8 versus 3. Eight's bigger. It's positive. It keeps its sign. Positive. Now, how does that make any sense at all? Because when you have 8.2, if we were to estimate, that's about 8, positive 8. So that means our Mr. Frog here, our Mr. Frog will move on to positive 8. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a few negatives, not too many, just three negatives, about three negatives. So that's like saying we're going to add three negative numbers. So that will become less positive. It's going to hang around the 5 mark. And that 4.87 is um, close to 5. And it is a positive value, which is important. It's still in the positive zone. Now, the second question, let's see what's happening here. We have another subtraction. However, look what, if we were to take these and flip these signs, well, it's not as sneaky as this because we don't have a positive here. So how do we turn this into addition? Watch. If you have two negatives in a row, minus a negative. Anytime you subtract a negative, you turn them both into positives. Just like that. Yes, you could do that. I'm not going to explain why this works. Just know that it works right now. I might explain that in a future video or I'll save it for class time and explain to you why that works. So now they are both adding. This is plus and this is plus. Now what does the question say? It has negative. It's a positive. They're different. So we subtract them again. Now we ignore the signs. They don't exist. Just look at the numbers. What's bigger? 9 is bigger, so we're going to write it on top. 9.45 minus 2.67. Not because that says minus here. Okay, why did we say minus here? Why did we subtract? Because the signs are different, right? So now we subtract. And I'm going to subtract like you know what's going on again.
Now you tell me, is the answer positive or negative? Ignore the signs. Look at the number. Two versus nine. Nine wins. Positive. Yes. Let's move on to this one. We have, okay, not in brackets. Let's put them in brackets. Always put your numbers in brackets. Now look what we have here. We have subtract 10.23, but it doesn't tell us if that 10.23 is a positive or a negative. So what do we do? Any number that you don't see a sign for, write. You have to make it a positive. So look, we have here this. We have a positive 10.23. We're going to put them in brackets. But it's a subtraction question. We have to turn it into what? Addition. How do we do that? You take those and you flip them around. I'm going to just erase this here. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to scribble out oh, maybe. Let's do, uh, let's do, how do we do this? Let's do this. This becomes plus. This becomes minus. Just like that. Now look at the signs. We have negative and negative. They're the same. So we add them. Order doesn't matter. So we just stack the numbers. 4.7 and 10. Yeah, we have to line up the decimals. 10.23. I'm going to have to find a way to squeeze this in. It's going to be 3, 9, 4, 1. You tell me, is it positive or negative? Well, they're both negative, right? So it doesn't matter who wins. The 10 is going to win, right? But it's going to stay negative. Now, we have the essentially the same question here, but uh, what's the difference here? Instead of negative 4.7, we have positive 4.7. We still have subtract. You have to be able to notice, hey, that's subtraction. Because I'm going to have some worksheets where they're going to be all mixed up. You're going to have some addition mixed with some tr subtraction. And you have to find those subtraction ones and turn them all into addition. That comes with practice. Keep doing this and getting better and better at it. Look, we have here negative, positive. We just flip them. Yes. Or scratch them or whatever you got. Just make this positive, make that negative. Great. Now what do we do? We say, okay, positive, negative. They're different. That means, yes, subtract. Ignore the signs. Look at the numbers. 10 comes first because it's bigger. And 4.7 goes below it. So you see we have the same numbers involved, but now it's subtraction instead of addition. I'm going to subtract these. I'm going to get 3 going to cross that out, cross that out, turns into a 9, this becomes 12, then we've got 5, we've got 5, and you tell me, positive or negative? Yeah, we got negative, 10 is powerful, more powerful than 4, it's bigger than, so we have the negative in front of the 10, it moves on to the answer, negative 5.53. How do we make sense of this? Why is this true? Why is it negative and not positive? Let's use some logic. We started out with positive 4.7. That's about positive 5. Remember that. Let's put the froggy on positive 5. Put the frog on positive 5. Then we're adding a whole bunch of negatives. We're adding 10.23 negative. We're adding a whole bunch of 10 negatives. That's a lot of negatives. The four or the five positives are getting overwhelmed by all these negatives. The answer will become negative. That's why it's negative. I think this is the last page. We might have one more, but let's, let's see here. If you understand this, you don't have to watch anymore. Just do these questions and see if you get them all right, but checking the answer over. I'm going to keep moving on with this. Positive 4.39. Let's put it in brackets. Minus negative 1.2. What do you do if they're both minus? Yes, you turn them both into plus, plus and plus. Okay, great. Now we have positive and positive. They're the same sign. So we're going to add these two numbers. We have 4.39. We're going to add it to what? 1.2. We got nine. Oops. Oh, line them up properly. Let's line these up. Nine goes here. Five goes there. Five goes here. And since they're both positives, it doesn't really affect anything. Now we have 4.39. Let's put our symbols in. That's positive. But look, here we have subtract. A 1.2. Yes, it's a positive 1.2. You see that? But we don't like subtraction questions. We want to turn them into addition. How do we do that? By do by flipping the signs. This becomes positive and oops, let's do that neater. This becomes positive and this becomes negative. Let's make that negative. Great. Now we have positive and negative. They are different. They don't get along. So we're going to subtract. 
big number comes first. Remember, ignore the signs now. All we need the signs for, the only thing we need the signs for is to decide if we're adding or subtracting the numbers. Once we figure it out, we imagine the signs don't exist. We have 4.39 big number first, 1.2 is smaller, 9 take away 0, 3 take away 2, and 3, there. Now we decide if it's positive or negative, 4 is bigger than 1, 4 is positive. Great. So was our answer. Now, we have another subtraction question followed by a positive number. So we flip them. It's a great strategy to flip these signs. Now we have negative 12.3. We have a negative. We have negative and another negative. They're the same. So here, it's not an equal sign. It looks like an equal sign. Let me, let me, uh, let me erase that. So it doesn't look like two equal signs. Okay. So we have negative and negative. So they're the same. And so we add them. Order doesn't matter when you add. So we just, put them on top of each other, ignoring the signs. We have five, we have seven, we have one. Positive or negative? Well, they're both negatives, but 12 wins, it's it's bigger. So 12 is a negative, so is our answer. Now we have this. Oh, another one here. We don't, oh yes, we do know what it is. It is a positive. Yes, good. But it's subtraction. We don't like subtraction question. We want to turn them into what? We got to turn them into addition. Yeah. So we're going to turn this into positive, into addition. And that means this has to be subtraction. Okay. Now let's erase it and make it neater. Erase that. Okay. Good. Now we're going to make it negative. And now we look at the signs and, all right, they're the same. Yes, so we add them. So I like adding because you don't have to worry about borrowing. And I don't like borrowing. I just like I just like to put the numbers and add them up. 245.1, we have 178.26. Let's add these babies and see what we get. 6 and 0, 2 and 1, 8 and 5. What is it? 11, 12, 13. What do we have here? We have 12. What do we have here? We have four, positive or negative? Yeah, negative. Oh, we got one more page. So again, you don't have to watch all this if you understand it, but I'm gonna keep going for those who need, who need the extra practice. We have 18.6 minus this. Okay, that's a positive. Okay, we have two negatives in a row, so we'll change them quickly. Positive, positive. So let me, ooh, let's do this. Let's make it neater. We have positive here. We've got, hiya, like that. Do this, do that. Positive and a positive. Okay, so we're adding. They're the same. We have 18.6, 27.8. Add them straight up, 14. This is 16. This is 4. Answer, positive. Here, we have to switch the signs. Turn it into addition. That's step one always. Turn the question into addition. Now we just add the numbers. So we have 132. I like to put the long number on top. Just makes for easier adding. Especially when your adding order doesn't matter of the numbers. So you just put them in any order that you want. And so now we have 7 plus 0 is 7. Here's 0 plus 7 is 7. We've got the decimal. We've got the 5. We've got another 5. We've got a 1. Answer, negative. This wins, and it's a negative, so that negative moves on. Okay, so now we have two to go. Let's see how you do with these. Here we flip the signs, and it won't let me flip the signs, so I'll just rewrite it out. We've got negative 18.6. Put it in brackets. We're going to be flipping the signs, so add a negative 27.8. Okay, now that the signs are the same, we just add them. Again, these aren't equal signs. They're just me underlining the number. So we have 18.6 added to 27.8. We have go, we go 8 plus 6 is 14. This is 16. This is 4. And the answer will be negative since they're both negatives and it doesn't matter who wins. Now we've got this one here, which is like the one in the addition, but 
we've got a subtraction at the end. So before we start anything, let's fix this up. There we go. Now we solve it like any other addition equation. Do the first two. This is positive. Let's put the signs so we know what's happening. All of them have signs. Great. We have positive and negative. They're different, so we're going to subtract them. Big number first. Small number second. Ignore all signs. Just subtract those numbers. So I'm going to subtract here. Just 5. That's going to be 7. 2. So 2.7. Negative 2.7, right? Because this number out of these two, this one is bigger, so it has a negative. Now, not bigger in terms of, remember, this isn't bigger. 23.5, positive 20 is much bigger than negative 26.2. But when you ignore the symbols, which is what we have to do, this number, 26, beats 23. So we take the sign of that number instead, and we say it's a negative. We take that sign. Now we have these here turning into negative 2.7. And we're going to be putting that in brackets, add to it a negative 7.08. Just add it. Now, since the signs are what? The signs are the same. We add. And I'm going to put the 7.08. Ignore the signs again. Ignore the negative. Just add them up. 8, 7, 9, negative. Negative.